All right, what's the date today, Eric? Uh, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. 23rd, 23rd of October. Here we are, we've got a 64 Impala. Get ready to spray some paint on it. We're at the original factory color. And that's the painter right there. This is the second try at it. Second vehicle he's painted. Did a beautiful job on the first one. 63 Comet, which was a Castilian gold metallic color. First one came out gorgeous. Now he's going to finish up on a 64 and pallet. He's done body work, he's done paint. However, the owner doesn't want to redo the bumpers, rechrome or straighten the bumpers. They don't want any new gasket material for windows, nothing. They just want paint put on it and that's it. So, paint will be beautiful, but the details, not the painter's fault. It's up to the owner. Right. This is what's taking place up to this point. And at the end of the day today, what you're going to see is a beautiful blue stock Chevrolet and color for 64 metallic. Here's a shot of the other side of the car. We're going to pour the paint into here. Okay, and then and there's a shot of the paint. Well, it's not even mixed, but... And here's the setup. No one would believe that you get the type of finished, quality finished product that you can get in an old garage like this. Who would know? So, we'll revisit this later after we get some paint on it. All right, here's the paint. You can tell them by the way the paint, the swirl in the paint, the metallic, you can see the flake in that. It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be what? It's going to be gorgeous. How gorgeous? <laughs> All right. Absolutely gorgeous. First coat of base. Waiting for it to dry. See here the color isn't solid yet. Two more coats and it will be. And a few coats of clear and we'll be looking good. Waiting for uh, the last coat of clear to go on. Got another few minutes for this to dry. It's all shiny now. <laughs> 